Question number nine. Your patient is prescribed 20 milligrams of morphine by intravenous injections. In stock, you have 20 milligram in two milliliters of vials. 20 milligrams per two milliliter vial. What volume of morphine is required to administer? What volume of morphine is required to administer this dose? So you want to find the volume. So I'll take this off. We don't, we're not doing dosage there. We want to find the volume. And the way you do it, you find what you want is 20 milligram of morphine. What you have got is 20 milligram in two milliliters of vials. So it's 20 divided by 20 times two, that gives you two milliliters. Question number 10, your patient is prescribed 50 milligram of petidine by injection. In stock, you have liquid for injection of strength, 100 milligram in one milliliters, 100 milligram per milliliter. What volume of this is required? So we go back by writing down the volume, the formula for the volume. What you want, what has been prescribed, divided by what you have times what it's in. What you want for that patient, you want 50 milligram of petidine. So it's 50. And what you have got is 100 milligrams. And that is in one mil one milliliters, 50 over 100 times one, that will give you 0 0.5 milliliters. Question number 11, your patient is prescribed 20 milligram of furosemide by injection. In stock, you have liquid for injection of strength, 10 milligram in one milliliters. What volume of this is required? Same old formula again. Volume, what you want, divided by what you've got times what is in. So 20 is prescribed, divided by 10 is what you've got, times the volume is in. 20 divided by 10 is two, times one is two. So it's two milliliters. Question number 12, your patient is prescribed six milligrams of warfarin. In stock, you have tablets of one milligram, three milligrams, and five milligrams. In order to keep the number of tablets to a minimum, identify the strength and number of whole tablets you would administer the strength, strength and number of whole tablets. To keep it to a minimum, is a key word there, minimum. So you can take one tablet, which is five milligrams, and one tablet, which is one milligram. Five milligrams plus one milligram gives you six milligram. So you take two tablets. One of them is five milligram, one of them is one milligram. Or you can take two tablets, each of them is three milligrams. So it's three milligram plus three milligram, that gives you the six milligram you need. You can write two times three, six milligram. Question number 13. Your patient is prescribed 30 milligram of enalapril. In stock, you have tablets of five milligrams, 10 milligrams, and 25 milligram strength. In order to keep the number of tablets to a minimum, which strength of whole tablets would you select and how many of each strength? You want to get 30 milligrams 
and you want to keep them to a minimum. So you can take one 25 milligram tablet and one five milligram tablet. 25 plus five will give you 30. So that means you take just two tablets all together. Question number 14. Your patient is prescribed 10 milligram of warfarin. In stock, you have tablets of one milligram, three milligram and five milligram strength. In order to keep the number of tablets to a minimum, which strength of whole tablets would you select and how many of each strength? To keep to the minimum and you want 10, you just take two times five two five milligram tablet and that gives you the 10 